Okay, pause your video and try this one. All right, the graphs below, uh, which I moved to the right here, um, show the changes in the relative concentrations of two gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide, uh, surrounding a group of mice. So what, what process would decrease the amount of oxygen over time, right? What process uses oxygen, right? And creates or produces carbon dioxide, right? Well, there's, there's, well, we can limit active transport. This um, oxygen, carbon dioxide, both go through the, um, are transported through simple diffusion or uh, passive transport. All right, it's not evaporation. So, all right, so it's between cellular respiration and photosynthesis. All right, so cellular respiration is going to use oxygen and uses glucose to make carbon dioxide, um, water, and ATP. All right, so like carbon, uh, cellular respiration, photosynthesis, you've got to know the, the, the reaction. Like you're going to get several questions on the reaction. Photosynthesis um, is going to use water. Plants use water. It's going to use carbon dioxide to make glucose and oxygen. All right, so let's take a look. Carbon dioxide is used. All right, so that's going to go down. Well, hold on now. Mice don't do photosynthesis. They're not plants. All right, why are we even considering this? All right, so this is not the answer. Okay, cellular respiration is the answer. This makes it much easier. It could be asking about plants. That would make it a much more challenging classroom. All right, well, mice, the oxygen goes down because mice are breathing in and using it in cellular respiration. And then they're breathing out carbon dioxide, so that's what's going to increase the carbon dioxide level. All right, that's all there is to it. If you need help with um, cellular respiration, click on the uh, video in the description for cellular respiration.